Hello there, my beautiful, lovely, talented, delightful, and dare I say it, good-looking internet friends. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today for the ultimate tier list. You may have seen tier lists going around here on the YouTubes ranking Marvel characters or OG YouTubers or snack foods, but what you haven't seen yet is the best worst sayings tier list. That's right, we are gonna be tackling cliche sayings today. I asked you guys over on Instagram stories what some of your favorite and least favorite cliche things that you say to people or people say to you. Things like everything happens for a reason or choose happiness. And I have assembled 12 of the most popular sayings today for us to rank. I'll be honest, I've been looking forward to this tier list for like a week and a half now. I feel like I do need to give a little bit of a disclaimer as we launch into this. I have a complicated relationship with cliche, just be happy sorts of sayings. Because 90% of the time, I feel like they're trite, overused, and not even remotely accurate. But then there are some, like the ones that you embroider on pillows, and I'm like, yeah. I feel that. I like that. So as much as I really want to say cliche sayings are dumb, uh, there are a few that I actually like. So let's get started ranking these. Okay, so these are the tier rankings we have today. At the very bottom we have, I'll accept it. Right above that we have, okay, fine. Now we're getting into dangerous territory with the mental, please go away. Right above that we're gonna move into, I'd rather eat sand territory, which is immediately followed by just burn it. I never wanna hear this again. Okay, our contestants are, you're right where you're supposed to be. This too shall pass. God doesn't give you more than you can handle. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Look on the bright side, it could be worse. Choose happiness. Every cloud has a silver lining. Think positive, kind of like choose happiness, but slightly different. Where there's a will, there's a way. Everything happens for a reason. And last but not least, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Okay, we're gonna start off with an easy one for me. This is actually one of the most highly requested ones in my Instagram poll. This too shall pass. Though this was listed as one that many of you, my lovely watchers, hated, I am gonna put this in the I'll accept it category. Listen, the only reason for that is that I feel like I've gained comfort in some moments from realizing that this moment is not gonna be forever. So this too shall pass, I'll accept it. Let's move on to what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I'd rather eat sand. Now I've not always felt this way. In fact, for a little while, I considered getting that saying tattooed on me. However, the more I thought about it, the more I realized that this is just not accurate. What doesn't kill you can leave a lasting impact on your life. It can ruin your mental health. It can destroy you as a person. And yes, you do have the opportunity to become stronger through the challenges that life throws at us. But I feel like if I never heard this again, I would be okay. You're right where you're supposed to be. Uh, okay, fine, or please go. I'm gonna go with please go away for that one. You know, I don't have particularly inflammatory feelings about that one because I've always heard it said with good intent but also you have no way of knowing that. And I imagine when it kind of comes to mentality, approaching things with like, this is where I'm supposed to be, I'm gonna make the best of it, could be beneficial, but it's just so trite and empty to me personally. So we're gonna put that in the please go away category. It could be worse. I've gotta, I've gotta bring this one straight to the top under burn it. We have our first winner or loser, depending on how you look at it. I'll be honest, I've dedicated entire videos to this idea of how much I am uncomfortable with the it could be worse saying. People have always said that to me when I'm struggling and having a hard time with something. And while it's true that it could be worse or someone has it worse than you, at the same time, that doesn't negate the circumstance that you are in. This is by far like top of my list, one of the sayings I cannot stand. However, with that being said, there are situations where I get it. Like if you're really upset because they ran out of milk duds at the movie theater and that's what you really wanted. I'm definitely not talking from personal experience on this one. You know, thinking this this could be a worse situation, could be helpful, but for the most part, this is so miserably misused and used against people that I would like it to burn. Um, look on the bright side. I would rather eat sand. I really, I, I would. I would rather eat sand than hear that again. I almost want to put this and burn it. And listen, looking on the bright side, not a bad thing, but telling people to always do that no matter what they're facing, not super helpful. God doesn't give you more than you can handle. All right. Um, my gut reaction is to want to elevate this to the burn it category as well, but I'm gonna put it under please go away. The reason for that is because anyone who's ever actually said this to me, I feel like they were saying it as like an endorsement of you're not alone, like you have the strength to get through this, we believe in you. But at the same time, if you believe in a God, if you live on planet Earth, sometimes you are handed things that are way more than what you can handle and it takes a lot to get through. I think you could make the argument that if you do get through it, it's because you know, God didn't give you more than you can handle, but at the same time, there are a lot of people who are given more than they can handle and it doesn't seem fair to just slap this label on everything. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. 
Uh, I, I didn't put the full saying on there because I ran out of space in the image. Okay, fine. This one's, it's fine for me, mostly because of all the memes about what to do when life gives you lemons. Like I never asked for these lemons, so you throw them back to the person who gave them to you, or Parks and Rec, John Ralphio's interpretation of when life gives you lemons, you steal your grandma's jewelry and you go clubbing. For the record, pl please don't do that. But I can get the sentiment behind it, right? That like when, when awful things happen or we're handed things that we do not want, at the end of the day, we have no control over what happens to us, but we do have a choice in what we do with it. So, okay, fine. Where there's a will, there's a way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask this one to kindly please go away. I feel like the only situation this is ever used in is when someone's trying to be helpful but doesn't actually have anything helpful to add or any kind of good suggestion. So it's like a, well, if you have a will, you'll find your way through it. And while that isn't necessarily wrong, and I also low-key really never want to hear it again, um, think positive is gonna go straight to I'd rather eat sand. Because listen, I have absolutely nothing against actual positive thinking, positive psychology, but the way that our society has morphed it into toxic positivity and being happy all the time and think positive being like slapped as a label on absolutely everything. If you're dealing with grief or trauma or loss, people will tell you just think positive. And it's so damaging when people just slap this label of positivity on absolutely everything. I'm gonna go on a short soapbox moment here for just a second and say that, that of course I'm a big fan of positivity, but only when it comes from a genuine place. And I think sometimes the most positive thing that we can do for ourselves is not what's portrayed in positive thinking. Sometimes the most positive things we can do for ourselves is to allow ourselves to feel angry or to feel sad, to feel real human emotions and not stuff them down. Because it is this connotation of, of suppressing what you're really thinking, what you're really feeling, and just putting on a smiling face for other people. That leads right into choose happiness. I'm gonna burn it. I'm just, I, I would like that one to burn. It's really close to the think positive. There's only a slight differentiation between the two. First of all, not really how psychology works. Again, it's a little bit more complicated than that. And just choosing happiness is usually used as a way to make other people shut up about whatever they're dealing with if you're uncomfortable with it. So we are gonna go ahead and toss that one into the fire. We got two left here. Every cloud has a silver lining. I'd rather eat sand because frankly, it's not accurate. Um, first of all, clouds, don't have silver in them. I learned that in homeschooled science class while I was a child. And frankly, not every situation has an upside attached to it. I am a believer in the idea, as previously mentioned, that when you are handed a load of crap from life, you may not be able to control that or help that or change it, but you do get to choose what you do with that pile of crap you never asked for. So I believe that you can create silver linings on things if that's what you want, but it's not true that every cloud has a silver lining, either in reality when we're talking about clouds or in figures of speech. Last but not least, everything happens for a reason. This one's going top of the list as well. We are gonna burn everything happens for a reason because I feel like I should be careful here because it's a very popular saying that I know does help people. But for me, sincerely, I don't believe that everything happens for a reason. I believe that we get to choose what kind of reason we wanna bring out of chaos, what kind of reason we wanna bring out of life what we want that narrative and that story to be. But the idea that children die and people are currently going hungry in 2020 and, and the insane and abhorrent trauma that occurs to people, like all these things, suggesting that it happened for a reason, again, to me personally, comes across as really offensive and insensitive. Like this was supposed to happen to you. This horrible thing you experienced was supposed to happen. Like that person was supposed to die for a reason for you. I don't know, it just, it really rubs me the wrong way. When it comes to my ultimate list of sayings I'd never like to hear again, it could be worse. Choose happiness and everything happens for a reason or definitely top the list. Now I do want to mention here that, um, that this video is 100% just my opinion and is supposed to sort of be satirical and lighthearted. I fully realize that some of these things really help people if, if, repeating to yourself, this too shall pass, or everything happens for a reason has really helped you get through difficult times. I think that's fantastic. What I don't love is when people use these super cliche overused sayings in absolutely every situation. And sometimes it can be really hurtful and really damaging and really insensitive. So this is just my own two cents. I would love to hear what you think down below. Do you agree with my tier ranking? Would you do this totally differently? Should we do this together on a live stream sometime? I'm kind of thinking yes. Also, let me know if you like this tier ranking video. I have a few other ideas of tier rankings that I could do like 
things people say to amputees. So let me know if you'd like to see that in the near future. But uh, but with that being said, I think I'm comfortable with the tier list I've assembled and I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Giant thank you to my patrons over on Patreon. I truly appreciate all you do for me. I do not take you for granted, thank you. And to you watching this video right now, thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to chill with me here, to look at some fantastically cliche sayings and what we think about them. You could be anywhere in the world doing anything and you chose to hang out with me for a few minutes and I really appreciate that. I love you guys, I'm thinking about you and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.